Hello and welcome to today's short practice, Yoga for Healthy Elimination. We're going to do a short sequence and we're really going to focus on targeting the large intestine, the colon. So we're going to begin today's practice reclined down on the spine. So as you come down, you can stretch your arms open in a T, palms turning up to face the sky, knees bent, feet a little wide, and just start by swaying the knees a few times from right to left in the windshield wiper motion. Feeling the movement of the bones through space. The gentle twisting action in the spine and through the abdominal region, like a gentle massage for the organs. Stretching and gentle compression. And we're going to pause with the knees pointed up to the sky. We're going to take a full body stretch. You're going to send your legs out long. Reach your arms by your ears. Press out through your heels. Okay, we're going to take this right leg. Start to bend the right knee. We're going to draw the right thigh up to the right ribs. Looping the hands around to the back of the right thigh or the right shin. Now, as you do that, you may end up wanting to bend this left knee and place the left foot flat to the floor, or you might be comfortable with the leg extended out along the floor. Either way is fine. Our primary focus is the right thigh drawing in toward the right ribs. And again, you can hold the back of that right thigh with your hands or even a yoga strap. Just a gentle squeeze in right thigh to right ribs, a little bit more opening through the left side waist. Okay, and then you can keep that right thigh drawn in and we'll let the left leg come in as well. So you may find more comfort in the lower back by letting the knees be just a bit wider, but feel free if it's okay on the back, you can do knees together as well. Okay, now we're gonna switch to the second side. So keep your left thigh in. Right foot is gonna come flat or you're going to extend the leg out along the floor. Choose what works best for your low back. Hands to the left shin bones or to the back of the thigh or take a yoga strap, loop it around the thigh and then hug in with the yoga strap. Compressing the left side of the large intestine. Okay, take your last round of inhale and exhale here. And then we can keep the left thigh in. And again, let's draw the right leg in so that we come back to having both knees in for a moment. Wider is a little more gentle on the back. And then you could just kind of wrap across the low back. One thing I also like to do is play with the placement of the knees into the belly. So you can take your knees and move them farther away from the belly. And then you can hug them in toward the belly like a circular motion, just compressing a little more deeply as the thighs draw in, and releasing that compression as the thighs move away. Okay, and then when you're ready, we're gonna come to table. So you can let your feet come down to the floor. We're gonna roll over to the right or to the left and just gently press up coming to the table. We're gonna do some Thread the needle here, so you want to blanket your knees. 
Start by taking the hands a little wider than the shoulders. And the knees initially could start under the hips, but then we're going to inch the knees out one or two inches wider. And the toes won't touch, but they'll be closer together than the knees. We're going to let the weight come into the right hand. You're going to bend your left elbow as you pick the hand up off the floor and send that elbow up. Maybe send the fingertips up. As you exhale, we're going to dive this left arm between the right hand and right knee so that we come down, left arm coming toward the floor, and we take a twist. And then we're going to do that dynamic movement a few times. So you're going to inhale, start to unthread. I like to bend the left elbow and allow it to unfold to the sky. And then exhale, let the arm Dive down, take the twist, bring the body closer to the earth, and then inhale. Once again, take the left elbow or left fingertips to sky, and exhale, thread the arm through. Okay, and then we'll do it two more times on this side. So inhale, left elbow or fingertips go to sky. Exhale, thread through. Last one, inhale, left elbow or fingertips go to sky. Exhale, diving that arm through. Now as you inhale, we're going to come back to table. Now momentarily line the knees up underneath of the hips. We're going to take the inhale. Lower the belly down to the floor as you lift your heart and chin, taking the cow tilt. And then as you're exhaling, you're going to press your hands and round your spine. Draw the belly in. So notice the gentle squeezing of the abdominal muscles, compressing those abdominal organs. Let's do that cat cow one more time. Inhale, release the belly. Lift the heart. Exhale, press the hands and round the spine. Inhale, come to neutral. Now move your knees just a little wider. Bring your big toes a little bit closer. Put your weight into your left hand. You're going to pick up your right hand. Take your elbow or the fingertips up to the sky. And then as you exhale, you're going to dive your right arm between your left hand and your left knee. Take the twist. And then as you inhale, come back up. Right elbow or fingertips to sky. And then exhale, take the twist. Right arm, diving between left hand and left knee. Inhale. Right elbow, our fingertips reach up. Exhale to twist. We're going to do that two more times. So you're going to inhale, right elbow or fingertips to sky. Exhale to twist. Last one. Inhale. Right elbow or fingertips to sky and exhale to twist. Okay, inhale, start to unthread that right hand, come back up to the table. Take your knees and line them back up underneath of your hips, spread your fingers and inhale, release your belly button down to the floor and lift your heart. And then as you're exhaling, you're going to press your hands and round your spine. Draw your tailbone under, scoop your belly button in, inhale, one more time, release the belly, lift up through the heart, exhale as you press your hands and round your spine. Inhale as you come to neutral, walk your hands a little bit forward and lean your hips forward into the knee down plank. You can float your feet and cross at your ankles and your calves, kind of squeeze the, the ankles and calves toward one another, and then exhale, bend the elbows and lower down to the chest and ribs. Now as you come down, 
We're going to stack the hands so that the left hand is connected to the floor and the right palm is sitting on top of the left hand. Then we're going to bring the forehead down to the right hand. We're going to do some half locus. So keep the forehead connected to the right hand. Keep your right foot down. As you inhale, we're going to lift just the left leg as well as the right arm, and the head will come up with the right arm. So it just puts a little pressure down belly into earth. And then as you exhale, lower everything down. And we're going to stay on this same side. So keep that top of the right foot anchored down. And inhale, lift your left foot. Lift your right arm. And then as you exhale, come back down. And let's do it again. Inhale, tailbone draws down. Left leg and right arm lifts. And then exhale, lower. We're going to do two more times on this side. Keep that right foot anchored. Inhale, lift your left leg and your right arm. And exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale, draw the tailbone down. Lift the left leg, right arm, and head. And then exhale, everything comes down. Now as everything comes down, Bend your knees, let your knees hook in toward the buttocks, and then sway the legs from side to side. Okay, let's bring the feet down, and we want to switch the hands. Right palm facing the floor, connecting to the mat. Left palm connects to the right hand. Left foot is anchored this time. Inhale, the right leg and the left arm are going to lift up. And then as you exhale, lower down. Inhale, right leg, left arm and head lift up. And exhale to lower. Inhale, right leg, left arm. Exhale to lower. Two more times on this side. Inhale, right leg and left arm. Exhale to lower. Last one. Inhale, right leg and left arm. Exhale to lower. Come down. Again, bend your knees. Draw your heels in toward the buttocks and then sway your legs a few times from side to side or make that circular motion with the lower legs. I love that one for releasing achiness in the low back. Okay, let's lower the legs, slide the hands beneath the low chest, and inhale, press the table. We're going to come up to down dog for a moment. So take your hands about as wide as your mat. Tone the belly as you press the balls of the feet into the mat and lift your knees up into downward dog. And pedal out your knees and your feet. So if this pose doesn't work well for your shoulders, you can always take half dog by keeping your knees down on the floor and then walking the hands forward. That's a good option. And from either pose, we are going to transition the body to the forward fold. So if you're still in the half dog, you can walk the hands to one side, stepping one foot forward and then the next. If you're in the down dog, you'll look forward and begin to step your feet forward, coming into forward fold. So really, however you get here is, is fine, right? If you have a set of yoga blocks, you might take the hands on the blocks as you take half lift with your spine. So lift the belly, reach out through the crown of the head, and then as you exhale, you can fold into your legs. And you might let your knees bend so that your front body connects to your thighs, or at least comes close, right? So you kind of compress in there. And then inhale, halfway lift. This time as you exhale, you're going to keep the weight in the right foot. Frame the right foot, maybe even with the blocks as you step the left foot back into high lunge. We're going to start to spin the left heel down to the floor. But before we rise up, and have you take a block if you have one. Bring it to your the highest height to the inside of the right ankle. If you don't have a block, don't worry about it. Inhale, let's sweep the left arm around and up. So coming into um, this warrior two stance, we are going to take triangles. So if you want to take that back left foot, maybe heel toe in an inch or two. Then we're going to start to lean the body toward the right leg. 
And we're gonna, as we start coming over that right leg, straighten the right knee or bring it just a little more towards straight. And the right hand can come down to the black, but no, you can also just go high up on the shin bones. Left hand to the hip or send it up to the sky. So we wanna just give a little bit of gentle compression to this underneath side of the body. For balance, I usually like to look down at the right foot or if you tend to lots of neck tension or lots of tension headaches, looking down can actually be a little more relaxing for those neck muscles. Good, take, let's take two more cycles of breath here. Notice as you're exhaling that the belly naturally draws into spine and you can exaggerate that a bit, which is gonna put a little bit of pressure into the abdominal organs. So draw the belly button in, feel a little bit of tone across the belly region. Now this top left arm is gonna sweep back and then come down in front of the belly. You're gonna come back to that high lunge, spin off that back heel so you can adjust your blocks and you can press off the left foot, come forward. Take a halfway lift with the spine. And then as you exhale again, just fold in so you can bring your body in close to your thighs. And then inhale, halfway lift with your spine. And so we're gonna frame the left foot with the block, step the right foot back. Initially in that high lunge, and we're gonna spin the right heel down. So if you're using a block, place the block on its highest height to the inside of the left ankle, and then you're gonna inhale, bring your body up into warrior two. So slightly shorter stance for triangle, so maybe heel toe the right foot in an inch or two. And then start to lean the body forward over that left leg, and then begin to straighten the left knee, partially or all the way as that left hand either comes to the shin bones or to your block and your right arm is gonna stretch nice and high up to the sky. Draw your tailbone down. Draw your low ribs in, maybe gaze down at the left big toe. And take some nice steady inhales and exhales with some focus on that gentle toning in the belly region as you exhale. Okay, last one to two cycles of breath. All right, take your next inhale and as you exhale, this right arm can sweep to the back. You're gonna frame your front left foot and spin off of your back right heel. We are gonna step forward, so press off the right foot, step forward. Take a halfway lift with your spine and stay in that halfway lift. Let's bend the knees, slide the hands to the hips and then rise up. I wanna do a standing back bend here, just a nice symmetrical pose to balance out that triangle. So press the heels of your hands into your low back. Draw your elbows toward one another, draw your tailbone down and just a light lift of the heart. You know, keep your chin in a bit toward your chest if it's bothersome for the neck. Really just creating some stabilization across your low spine. Take a breath in. As you exhale, begin to come forward. Slide the hands down the legs as you fold in. Now we are going to take a uh, garland. So we're going to walk toward the blanket. You want to catch hold of your blanket, slide it toward your heels, and fold it up so you create a little ledge for your heels. You're gonna step your heels onto that blanket ledge, spin your heels in and your toes out, and then you wanna take a uh, squat shape. So this is a great pose for the colon, but it may not work well for your knees. So feel free to take the wide stance goddess squat. It's not gonna give as much pressure in the core, but it will be a little bit, uh, it's definitely more gentle in the knees. So either pose, right, just take a couple cycles of breath.
Good. So if possible, take a, just another two cycles of breath. We are going to come to table from here. So please know you can always exit the pose early, coming into the table if you're ready. Otherwise, another cycle of breath. Okay, let's lower the hands down to the floor. Send the hips up toward the sky. Heel toe your feet in a bit. Let's walk the feet back. Just initially just coming into that down dog and then take a breath in and out. Okay, and then we're going to lower the knees down into the table. Take one cat cow. Inhale, release your belly. Lift up through your heart. And exhale, press your hands and round your spine. Inhale, come to neutral. And let's bring the legs around and out in front of you. I'm going to move this blanket. I want to do um, one uh, supported bridge. So bring a block or your blanket with you just as you come down to your spine. You're going to point your knees to the ceiling. We're going to do about just one minute or a minute and a half in supported bridge. So you want to lift your hips and slide either a blanket or a yoga block underneath of your lower spine in the back of your pelvis. So you just got to play with the prop and find a good space that feels pretty comfortable. And then you can let your arms go down in a low V and just open up the front of the body, open up down through the front hips, which opens up the energetic channels of the legs associated with that downward movement of energy that also correlates to things like urination, elimination, menstruation. As you're here, feel your breath massage your abdominal organs. Right after this next exhalation, and then anchor your feet, lift your hips, move your pop out to the side, lower your hips down, and take your arms open in that nice wide T shape for a few windshield wipers. Right, and for a moment, we'll just pause either with the knees pointed to the sky, or you can take your legs out, long arm in the mat, maybe even connecting hands to the belly so you can really feel your breath expanding and releasing around the abdominal organs.
we're ready, you can begin to bring some movement back into your legs and your arms. Bending your knees one at a time. Place your feet to the floor and we'll roll to the right or to the left side of the body. We're gonna press our hands down. We're gonna start to come back up to seated position. Let your hands come together at your heart in prayer as you sit tall. The light within me sees and bows to that same light that exists within you. Namaste.